In parts one and two of this series on how to be more peaceful in life, we looked at two foundational practices, awareness and allowing. Now, here's what's so important to understand. Both awareness and allowing are actually elements of the one essential key to inner peace, being present. The practice of being present or being in the now is the number one path to a more peaceful life. When you're present, you come back to the power you already have within you, rather than mentally battling with your circumstances. This is why the solution to peace isn't found in anything external. That's why it's called inner peace. To complete this three-part series, I want to give you one of the simplest tools to anchor yourself back to presence and peace. It's appreciation or gratitude. It is so simple. By focusing on even the smallest things to be grateful for right now, you can bring yourself back into presence. Even if you're facing a situation that's disrupting your peace, you can still shift your focus to things that you're grateful for in this moment. This is a powerful way to instantly bring yourself back into the peace of presence. Now, in this video so far, you have seen some footage of my time in Italy this year, which was part of my European trip that I did with my husband and daughter. And maybe you're thinking, well, that doesn't look very challenging. And while yes, it's an absolute luxury and privilege to have been able to travel, it still has its fair share of challenges. And if you watch some of my previous videos, you'll see how I have shared ways in which I have needed to put everything that I teach into practice during that trip. Now, to bring together the three elements of presence that I have shared in this series, awareness, allowing, and appreciation, let me share a real life example of how I used these to bring myself back to peace just this morning in a situation that could have easily thrown me off track for the whole day. If you're finding this content helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss my newest videos. So here's what happened. This morning, here in my daughter's bedroom, the cat jumped up onto her bedside table and spilled a cup of tea all over her white curtains and carpet. And as I began cleaning it up, hoping that the stains wouldn't set, I became aware of my thoughts. That's the awareness part. At first, I noticed my thoughts were all about resisting and feeling frustrated, like, why did she leave her cup there? These curtains are gonna be wrecked. I don't have time for this. But by just noticing my thoughts, I took the first step back to peace. I recognize them for what they were. They're just stories in my head and I don't have to believe them or get carried away with them. I do have a choice. And once I became very aware of my thoughts, I moved into a mindset of allowing. And this is about choosing neutrality instead of resistance. And I chose to think, this just is what it is. It's okay, this is just life. Allowing the situation to just be as it is helped me to be more calm and accepting. Then still crouched in her room, scrubbing the carpet with a soapy sponge, I took my thoughts one step higher to gratitude and I chose to lean into appreciation. And I deliberately shifted my thoughts to things like this is actually a great reminder that life is messy sometimes, but I get to choose my response. It's also a great reminder to be more lighthearted and just go with the flow with the things that happen. And also, I'm really grateful that I do have a lovely home to take care of. Plus, in the process of cleaning, I noticed a candle that had been left too close to the curtains. And so, I realized that this whole situation actually created something that could have averted a much bigger disaster. And it was a beautiful reminder that small challenges can lead to something good or even prevent something much worse from happening. 
Remember, by practicing awareness, allowing and appreciation, you can anchor yourself into presence and access the peace that is already within you. Start by noticing your thoughts, then move into allowing what is, and finally, appreciation and gratitude. So this wraps up my three-part series on how to be more peaceful in life. If you found this video helpful, you will love my Inner Peace free gifts. So go to the link below this video and sign up for those. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next video.